Now, I would suggest to you, Peter, that if she's fighting with you, she can't really be doing much fighting if she's got an eye mask on her, over her eyes. So, how did she end up in the sleeping bag with the eye mask? That's what I just said. No, you didn't. You haven't, you haven't explained to me how we found Melanie in the sleeping bag in the wheelie bin, two and a half years after her death, when you say you didn't touch her apart from putting her in the freezer and then taking her in the wheelie, putting her in the wheelie bin two and a half years later, you made no mention of the eye mask uh, yesterday when we asked you about it on numerous occasions, and yet when we find her, she's got an eye mask, the eye mask on like she was asleep. And I'm sorry, but there's no way that uh, she can have been fighting with you if she can't see what she's doing. So I'll ask you again. Why didn't you tell us about the eye mask? Because I can't remember putting it on her or anything like that. The plastic bag that we're talking about, uh, that was found over her head as well. So can you remember putting the plastic bag on her head? I'm not going to say something just to fit in the picture. If I can't remember, I can't remember. And this is what I've just talked to him about. So you have no recollection of putting the plastic bag over her head? I can't remember, no. Okay. Okay. I'll ask you the first question then. Did you put a bag over her head to stop the blood streaming out all over the floor and making further mess? It would be easy for me to say yes, but I can't remember. Okay. Did you put the bag over her head after knocking her out unconscious with a griddle pan in order to suffocate her? No. 